the cook is hot. Ooh, she's on fire. Hey, she's on fire. Yup, yup, she's on fire. Mm, the cook is hot. Hey, 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 the cook is hot. The cook is hot. The cook is hot. The cook is hot. Hey, the cook is hot. The cook is hot. What? She's on fire. She's on fire. Hey, she's on fire. The cook is hot. Hey, the cook is hot. The cook is hot. Ooh, she's on fire. Hey, she's on fire.
few moments later. What's up, homie loose homies, homeboys, make some noise, hey. Home girls make some noise. Y'all know that the cook is hot. The cook is hot. Hey, the cook is hot. The cook is hot. Hey, the cook is hot. The cook is hot. Hey, hey. she's on fire. What? What? She's on fire. Hey, hey. Okay. How y'all doing today? This is a pre-recorded video. I honestly don't know what I cook. And I plugged this video in there somewhere. Not talking about the food. Today, we're going to talk about friends. We're gonna have a conversation about friends today because it's been something that's been laying on my chest. It's lately, my circle has been getting smaller and smaller and smaller is almost a damn dot. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this. How does it come to be that you're a very sociable person? You make friends very easily, that's me very sociable, people tend to like you, but you cut people off just as quickly as you befriend them. Why? Because as you get older, your patience is less and less, and you start to see people for who they are, and you really have basically less patience for the BS. And you're just like, you know what? I'm done, I'm good, I'm good. No new friends. <laughs> Okay, well, let's talk about the different types of friends, okay? So, let's say you got the, um, you know how they say that they're seasonal friends and they're lifetime friends? That is so true. Seasonal friends are people that you were really close with during a period of time. You were important in each other's lives. You served your purpose. They served their purpose. You've moved on. You probably, probably never talked to each other ever again in life. That's absolutely fine. They were seasonal. Okay? Then you have those lifetime friends. These are people that will be your friends forever. From the day you were younger until you die. But they also have different places in your life. Just because you've known them forever and for a long time doesn't... Like, there's levels to how close you are with those type of friends. Now, some of those friends are like your ride or die some of them is just like, hey, girl. And some of them is just like, I'll holler at you on Facebook. You know what I mean? You got those type of friends. So let's talk about them. Let's talk about the different type of friends, honey, because we all have them. Let's talk about them. Okay. So you have those type of friends that they like to see you win when you're doing good. They are down for you. They're there cheering you on, you know, like, go girl, you know. Those are like the friends that I call them the when you up friends because they will ride for you. I mean, they are like there cheering you on. They want to see you win. They love to be around you. They're feeling that energy. You encourage them. Those are your I'm doing good type of friends, okay? But be careful because some of those are just riding using you what can you do for me oh you're doing good what can you do for me you know while you're winning be careful about those type okay then you got the friends that when you're down because let me tell you something we all go down you may be going through a period in your life where everything seems to be going wrong you might be unemployed you might be going through a breakup or a divorce you may have had a death in your family and you know they say things come in threes and it has happened to me so you may be going through all of these things and you're feeling really, really down. You got those down for you type of friends. Those are like the ones who are there for you. They do for you. They don't look for anything in return. They're real. They're doing for you without you even asking because they genuinely care about you. They will sit beside you through thick and thin. Those are your down for you friends when you're down. Now, let me tell you something. This is going to sound strange. You got some of your friends who are with you when you're down, but when you're up, they're not cheering for you. They don't, like, what's going on? You don't like to see me when I'm down? <laughs> like, what's up? Then you got those, when you're doing good, like you winning, they cheering, like, hey, girl, you ride or die. Where were you when I was down? Because let me tell you, my opinion of a true ride or die, they're there for when you up, 
and when you're down. Those are your true ride or die. Those are probably going to be the ones you want to keep in your life. Value them. Cherish them. Those to be around forever. And I always say, if you want to attract good friends, you have to be a good friend. Duh. You have to be there for your friends when they're down. You have to cheer for them when they're up. When they win, you win. You want to see your friend win. And you guys don't change towards each other. You don't want to be the type of friend that, you know, when you get a certain stage in life, you forget about those who were, who were there for you when you were down. Don't oh, no. be that type of friend. That's not nice. Okay, those were your ride or die. They were there for you. Never forget those type of people. Be a good friend if you want to attract good friends. Now, I say a genuine friend will do something for you and they're doing it from their heart. They're just good hearted people. They're not expecting anything in return. Their blessings are coming from just giving. Sometimes you can do things for people. You might not even get a thank you. No. Do it from your heart. That's when you really, really genuinely did it from your heart. You might not even get a thank you. Okay, you have some friends like that. They don't expect anything in return. I've lived abroad. I lived in different countries and different cultures and things are different. I've come across people, I'm doing this for you um, because I'm. it's like a deposit because I'm going to need something back from you later and I'm going to remind you of what I've done for you. Seriously, sometimes I don't even want to take what they're offering because I don't know what the price is I have to pay back. Sometimes people do things for you and they expect 10 things back in return for that one small thing they've done for you. And some, unfortunately, sometimes you're like, no, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> like, I don't want anything from you, honey, because I shouldn't have to pay back a friend. Then you got, let's speak about the low key haters posing as friends, okay? They're good with you as long as you're not doing better than them. As long as you always stay a step below them, rather it be financially, it could be in your job position, um, they have a bigger house than yours, more money than you. As long as you're like not on their level, they're good because those are not friends, those are competition, honey. <laughs> they're low key competing with you and coming across like friends, so be careful with them too. I mean, it's like, nowadays, like, I have tolerated a lot of people. I, I know a lot of friends I keep in touch with on Facebook, Instagram, different things. But you almost have to earn the right to be called the friend now. Because I have no patience. The older I get, the faster I cut people off. Like I said, my circle now is a dot. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Peace.